Hello guys, welcome to Stealth Security. In today's video, we are going to look at word lists. I've been making a few videos over the last couple of weeks and I get this question often. So I thought I'll make a detailed video on word lists and how to use them. So in this video, we will look at what word lists are in detail and different types of word lists. And we'll also see how to download and use a word list. Let's get started. A word list is just a list of words. For example, we have the directory word list with a list of common directory names. And then we have a username word list with a list of common usernames. The main purpose of using a word list is to have a pre-compiled list of words which can be used by a security tool. If you look at John the Ripper, John will take a list of passwords and generate hashes and compare them with the input hash. This is how John cracks passwords. Now let's look at one of the most popular word lists of all time called ROQ. ROQ is a list of 14 million passwords which is compiled from all the data breaches around the world. These passwords are used in over 32 million accounts. And here's a sample of the passwords that the Rocky word list contains. So you can see how useful a word list can be. So if you use Rocky word list with a tool like Hashcat or John the Ripper, if the password is weak enough, they can easily crack it. There are other popular word lists as well, like Seclis, which we'll be seeing in a minute. But ROQ is one of the most commonly used password word lists and you'll also be using them when you are a professional pen tester. So I hope you understood what word lists are. If you look at the use of word lists, one of the most popular use of word lists is password cracking, obviously. You can take any security tool. No security tool has the ability to automatically crack a password. They always need a word list. Then comes file and directory enumeration. So if you want to scan a website to find any hidden files, directories, subdomains, or anything like that, you can use a directory word list. Then if you have brute forcing, so brute forcing is where we try and gain access to a user account. It can be uh, an SSH login, it can be a web application login or anything. You can use a word list. So where do we get these word lists from? If you're using Kali or Parrot, you can find these word lists under user share word lists. You can also find the Rocky word list under the word list directory. If you're not using Kali or Parrot, what you can do is you can use something like Seclists. So Seclist is a popular repository which contains a lot of different word lists. So you can see much more word lists like password word lists and web shells as well. And there are a bunch of username word lists as well. So you can find a ton of word lists in sec lists. So you can see which word lists you will need and you can use one based on the scenario. If you want to download sec lists, you can go to the page and you can click on code and you can see download zip. I'll also put a link in the description below. Once you've downloaded the word list, you can just open the zip file and you'll have all the word lists within a folder and you can just start using them with the pen testing tool. Hope this video helped you to understand what word lists are and how to use them. I've also made a few videos on password cracking using John the Ripper and other tools, so you can check them out if you're interested. If you have any questions or topic suggestions, please let me know in the comments. See you soon with another topic.